Today's top stories. Iran's foreign minister Manochair Motaki said Monday that Tehran's cooperation with Washington on Afghanistan depended on the clarification of the new U.S. administration scenario in relation to this country. Motaki, who was in Kabul for a trilateral meeting with his Afghan and Pakistani counterpart, said, quote, We must know what this scenario is, because the Iranian government had a critical view of the former U.S. administration's policies in Afghanistan. He added that after the Obama administration declares its policies on different areas, Iran will review them and express its views. Earlier this month, Iran pledged to help U.S.-led efforts to combat drug trafficking in Afghanistan, as well as reconstruction efforts there. Iranian presidential hopeful Mehdi Karabi said on Tuesday that President Ahmadinejad had damaged the country's relations with the international community. Karabi, a moderate cleric and former parliamentary speaker, criticized Ahmadinejad for antagonizing the West by claiming that the Holocaust was a myth. Speaking at a news conference in Tehran, Karabi said, quote, The president's speeches have harmed Iran's interests. Karabi also vowed to change Iran's approach in the long-standing nuclear dispute with the West. Mohsen Murdamadi the Secretary General of the Islamic Iran Participation Front told reporters today that his party was concerned about the healthy staging of the presidential election, which would include safeguarding the people's votes. Mir Damadi, who was speaking in a press conference held at the central office of the IPF, said, quote, We are concerned about the interference on the part of the military and government organizations in the election, and also about the voice and vision's lack of impartiality in covering it. At the same time, our natural and logical expectation is that the people's votes should be safeguarded. Mir Damadi stressed the most important thing for his party was to change the country's current situation. Mir Damadi was quoted by the student news agency ISNA as saying, In the past four years, the country has been faced with numerous problems, and it is vital to stage the elections in a way which would bring about fundamental changes in the country. He reiterated the need to watch over the ballot boxes, and said he was amazed that the officials in charge of election staging are rejecting the question of protecting the ballots, while parties and groups should definitely be able to have their representatives in the polling stations. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on Monday warned that Hezbollah and other armed militias in Lebanon were working to stoke instability and intimidation ahead of parliamentary elections there in June. In a report to the UN Security Council, Ban wrote, quote, The threat that armed groups and militias pose to the sovereignty and instability of the Lebanese state cannot be overstated. He added, it creates an atmosphere of intimidation in the context of the upcoming parliamentary elections. It also undermines the stability of the region. These stories and more are televisionwashington.com.